you know finally the truth is out the dos all of them they are in confusion they don't know how to return back to onyema the way which is the good guy <laughs> paul achebe is lamenting no on um, uh, this there's no kind of truth he did not say in this video because christmas take your ear hear this one and help us please to share because we must be one or you will be irrelevant follow who no road we are heading to biafra biafra is here already all right let us hear paul achebe in a very long video seriously you will like to hear this let's go there and i am not afraid of anyone respect is not afraid i want to tell the leadership of ipob that a lot is going wrong and i want them to know that if biafra is restored today all of them their names will be written on a gold. They will take the glory. At the same time, I want to let them know that if the IPOB crumble today, they are the people we are going to hold responsible for whatever that happened. So they must know that if it's good, they will take the glory. If it is bad, they will also take the blame. Tension of mass in them, they can lies in Biafra restoration. And the release of Mas and Namdekanu do not lie in the hands of Nigeria government. The release of Mas and Namdekanu do not lie in the hands of Flani Caliphate. The release of Mas and Namdekanu do not lie in the international bodies. The release of Mas and Namdekanu do not lie in any other place except then the leadership. Whom Mas and Namdekanu have handed over this struggle to pilot it. The release of Mars in the Kano lies in the hands of Mars, uh, uh, the OS and the entire difference. Why I say so is because the leadership are the people who is piloting the affairs, day-to-day -day activities of ITUV. And I want to tell them that the continual silence to West Mars in the Kano and Biafra restoration is no longer doing ITUV nor Biafra any good. It is no longer a welcoming development. A lot of people are bitter. A lot of people are frustrated. A lot of people are no longer with their minds. Only of their of the leadership and the non uh, non invent towards the Afghan restoration is contributing to the continuing the turning of mass in the can. If truly we want freedom, I want them to know that we don't go for peace. We go for peace. Because in freedom lies the peace. I don't see any reason why Mazenam the Kano will be in DSS dungeon and we will be celebrating the kindness of the Southeast and we will be celebrating and dancing. It is not a resort. We don't go for development while we are still fighting for freedom. We go for freedom before development. I want IPOB leadership to know that Mazenam the Kano is in the right place where he will be for Biafra to be restored. And it is left for us, as he is in the right place where he's supposed to be for Biafra to be restored, for us to fight for the freedom of Biafra, for the restoration of Biafra. That is the place where the freedom of Mars and Namdekano lies. I always tell people that the freedom of Mars and Namdekano lies in Biafra restoration. And Biafra restoration does not, does not lie in the freedom of Mars and Namdekano. We have an opportunity to restore Biafra. When Mars and Namdekano went to the prison, and we mistakenly, uh, we mistakenly abandoned the freedom of Biafra and chased the freedom of Mars and the Kano. The, that moment we start fighting for the freedom of Mars and the Kano, instead of Biafra restoration, that moment we lost the directions of restoring Biafra. But Mars and the Kano, the freedom he got in 2017, is not freedom, rather it was what endangered his life. If we fight for Biafra restoration, that's where Mars in Namdekan freedom lies. The parents of Mars in Namdekan could have, could not have been, have died at process. A lot of you will say that the, the death of Mars in Namdekan parents is God's will. I will tell you it is not God's will. 
It is the the, 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 it is our, what will I call it? It is our negligence that led to the death of Mars and Amdekano's parents. It is the negligence of Biafrans and the, the negligence of IPOB that caused the life of Igwe Israel Okukano and the, the life of Lord Ugebe Okukano. Because if we do what we're supposed to do at the right time, we could have saved their life. Now, we secured the life of Mars in Namdekano and it endangered the entire family, <laughs> POP. And I am begging and calling on them to put power, torture, ego, pr pride aside towards this Biafra restoration. The IPOP Mars in Namdekano handed over to them is not the same IPOP I am seeing now. And I am calling on the head of the electorate of state, Mars Ichika Etosiem to know that the IPOB mass in Nam Dekano handed over to him is not the same IPOB that it is now. I want him to step up the gate. IPOB, all is not well. And I will say it is no longer news that Mars in Nam Dekano and the Mars in Nam Dekano's family are working hand to hand. And I want the IPOB leadership to make peace with the family of Mars and Namdekan. That is my opinion. I want the IPOB leadership to put a stop on the attack against any pro biafran group by any media warrior. Mars and Namdekan will be the happiest man to come out and see that. Mars and Namdekan will be the happiest man to come out and see the, that all the agitation group take the cause of him and come together to face one enemy and face the real enemies. For the past three years or the past two years plus, since 2021, we have not faced the real enemies. The reasons why Mahazinam Dekan is still in detention is because we have lacked focus. We lose focus. We leave the enemies and we start fighting ourselves. If the person is telling us that the Nigeria government can release Mars in Namdekan. We are doing for more than a year, supposed to be manifesting by itself. You don't need to explain your actions or your achievements to any person. Your actions and achievements should speak for, for himself. But for now, I must tell you the truth. I have not seen any result, nor any action, nor anything, achievement. He has given you the leadership. Your actions now is justifiable. You cannot tell me we are waiting until Mazenam they can come out before anything can be done towards the Afar restoration. It is a sign of failure on your own part. You will say others, some people will say, What are you doing? I am not the leadership. The leadership are the people who will make the move for the people to follow them. A lot of people are now turning to into to, are now going back to one Nigeria because they don't understand what we IPOB is doing. A lot of people no longer pay attention to Mazin and the Khan. A lot of people are no longer interested in the Afra restoration. A lot of people are now interested in one Nigeria. Ask yourself this question. After you build this entire Igbo, after your development, and the Fulanese bring what to you, what is your game? You will start afresh. That is why we are going to Nana Azotu and the Fah Azotu. The, the, the heat for the Afra restoration is no longer there. And I want the leadership of IPOB to know that the truth remains that many of the coordinators and the many of IPOB are afraid of suspension letter. And because of that, they cannot speak the truth nor tell them their mind. That is why a lot of them are into TikTok, doing all manner of nonsense. Some of them don't even have any IPOB anything in their in their in their platforms. Some of them have moved on. They only come for if they call them for meeting. They come there, some will be sleeping during the meeting. Why some will just say let let the day. If you can have the mind of the truth of the coordinators, you will know that a lot of them keeping silent or shouting the leadership are wise. They are not truly with you people. We must not wait until imagine them they can die before we will now fight for the restoration of Biafra. To get it right, we must stop crying Simon Epa this, Simon Epa that. Those of you crying for Simon Epa should stop crying for Simon Epa.
Simon Eka is no longer the problem that is holding Biafra not to come. He is not the person holding Mazin Namdekan in TSS dungeon. We are the people holding Mazin Namdekan because we are asleep. <laughs> For the past three years, we are hoping on the lawyer. The, the leadership have told us that they are coming. They are planning. You cannot tell me that we are planning for past three years and we have not arrived in anything that you need to be doing. Taking three years to make one plan or two plans, at least that plan should be manifesting today, now, in the Afrikaans. I am against anyone talking about peace with the flan, making about scam, telling us that one of the achievements of our leadership is the, our people go to the East in December and they celebrate December with scamness. That is not achievement. Achievement. That is an insult to the Biafra movement. That the masses, the Biafrans are no longer happy of the silence of the leadership. The Biafrans are no longer happy of the inactions of the leadership. Nobody is happy. Anyone telling you that he or she is happy is deceiving him or herself, or also maybe the person is part and parcel of the, what is happening to Martin and Began. We cannot be here telling you that everything is going. We are hitting them hard. We are not hitting anyone hard. Enough supposed to be enough. There are people we know that these are our enemies. If, if nobody will say it, I will say it. I am used to the to punishment that given to me for saying the truth. And I will not stop speaking the truth, regardless of a POB member, registered member, an old member who has paid his monthly dues and they paid all anything that is payable in IPOB. And I must tell you that I am not happy. And I know millions of people are not happy. If you get angry of what I am saying, ask yourself, as an a, a Biafran, since Mazin Namdekan have been kidnapped, what have you done to free Mazin Namdekan? Or what have you done to restore Biafra? Or do we think that Biafra will be restored through court process? Do we think that Biafra will be restored through a free court of Nigeria? Do we think that Biafra will be restored through Alon Yechimako, Baristefa Yechoko, uh, Sekome, or uh, Kano Agabi, or Maxwell? or through anywhere. Yes. So that our people will know that what we are fighting for is not the freedom of Mazen Amnikanu, rather the freedom of Biafra, which Mazen Amnikanu freedom is inside. And we can only achieve this. Imagine if we can put every person together. I must say it, whether we like it or not, this current leadership needs to unite with the Kanu kind of family. So that I am not saying that everybody will come and be this, but let there be peace. Let's stop the attack on each other. Because with my experience and what I have seen in the past few days or years, it shows that order is coming from them. We have accused Allah is man. End of the day, when our uh, man sitting in Mad Book, this dead man in Amdekan, he came out and said that every message passed by Allah is Makon come from Mass in Amdekan. In other words, we have attacked him for nothing. We have attacked so many people. Which end of the day, we confirm that the message they passed came from Mazin Namdekan. On that note, I am calling on the leadership. If we truly want Biafra to be restored, let us first unify ourselves. If we are not together, we cannot restore Biafra. The first sign to show that we are fighting for Biafra is coming together as Biafrans. Every attack on each other should stop. Remember, when Simon Epa is starting, I made a broadcast like this, and I said that all the media warriors should not attack, attack him. Allow him to be that if he is genuine, he will rise. If he is not genuine, he will die a natural death. But if we continue attacking him, that we will give him the ladder to move. A lot of people say that I am an idiot. They even tag me a, a, an autopilot that led to my death being called on, on Radio Biafra with no any investigation. Nobody investigated, just that sack him, he is supporting Simon Epa without any investigation. End of the day, I can stand here today and tell you that. The place where Simon Epa is standing today, the IPOB media and the IPOB gave him the ladder to climb. If we did not give him the ladder, he will not be where he is today. And I said it earlier, as I am saying it for now, a lot of you will still say, Mazi, you are standing somehow. I see tomorrow. I see ahead. I know what is about to come. I am not here for you to clap for me. I am not here for you to love me. I am not here for you to like me. I am here for, to tell you the truth. If you like, hate me. From Nancy, that kingdom come, it will not reduce anything from me. The most important thing, my happiness, is that I will always say that truth that anyone is afraid to say. And I know that what I am saying here, a lot of you know that it's truth, but because of fear of suspension, you will not say it. Because of fear, they will tell you autopilot, you will not say it. 
There are a lot of things we're supposed to do. But when people say it, you say you are thinking like autopilot, which is a lie. We should stop that mentality. Now, another thing I want the leadership to warn the IPUB members is when persons say, let us do something, you will be this 2024. I will not involve myself in attacking one, this one, attacking this one. If that will lead to my despair, I will welcome it with wholeheartedly, with happiness. But truth must be told. It is right time we now change the game and we show the world that we are united. We can restore the affair with the kind of hatred, deceit, and the divide we have now. If anyone telling you that with this kind of condition we are as a Biafra now, the IPOD are not united, I must tell you the truth. The kind of hatred we have among ourselves is beyond imagination. The kind of thought we put ourselves is beyond imagination. If you have different feelings, your different opinion, automatically the person becomes a, a saboteur to your eye. We don't even know the criteria to have to be to be called a saboteur any longer. For their fight to be restored, them join IPOB. Let's stop attacking each other. Let's have this division. In this one, uh, it, be your brother's keeper. If Nigerian army is attacking BNT, we should help BNT. If Nigerian army is attacking the African National League, Nation League, let us help them. And if they are attacking IPOB, let others still intervene. Don't say, oh, they are doing it. We want them. Those things, we have done that in the past. If you are an IPOB and you know you don't have the capacity to lead, you resign honorably. Allow those that have the capacity to take over the position so that we will make something. You will not take because of Mazen and the can appointed you here. And you know that you don't have what it takes at this point of time to pilot this movement. You shouldn't take because of shame and if you occupy the space. No. What you need to do is look around you. Who is there that have the capacity? Tell him, brother, take this position. Explain to Mazen and the can. That is why the white people always achieve something. If you are in a position, you know that you don't have what it takes. You don't have what it takes to move it. You resign so that the people that have the, what it takes to we, we take the position. It is true that a lot of you got to that position because when Mazen and the can needed people, you people are the first. You are the first does not mean that you have the capacity to be there. Please, I am taking the leadership. Take within yourselves. If any of you know that you don't have the, the capacity to lead, we have seen a lot of sluggish people holding posts. I don't want to mention them, but you know to yourself. A lot of reports will be on your table. You will be sleeping on duty. A lot of you need to resign and put people that can do it. Because this is a struggle. It's a movement. You must not say, because Mars now they can put you there. You must be there until Mars now they can come out. Knowing fully that, that you don't have something to offer. A Mars has been on a position. To me, it's a waste of time. It's a waste. Okay, we have heard him say the truth about DOS, that DOS is coming, they are working on the ground, all those things are fallacy, they are deceiving themselves. They have sold Onyendu and now they have scattered like Akara Etinere and Manoko. You see, it is only the good guy that is pressing the right button. And now they are ashamed, they don't know how to come back and join him. The more you delay, the more you spoil things. Unity is strength. 